the Russian computer was an absolutely uh, wizard with computers. Mm -hmm. I'm not. See, but we made all those. Mm -hmm. So, oh, step yeah. by step, we could show everything mm -hmm. in a simple way. Yes. Why it saves time. I had my daughter make some drawings. Mm -hmm. I had my friends make drawings. And we put this whole thing together. Sure. It has been very useful for teaching. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, and it says everything. Yeah. Simply yeah. Yeah. And in a simple way. Yes. Without too many words. Mm -hmm. And then here. The substitute for bags. What else do you have here? Pot stands. Sure. Whatever you have available. Yeah. Where we did it in, in Brazil, in remote villages, those guys have no means. And, and we had to teach them how to make the solar coopers because they cannot buy American stuff. Right. How to prepare the food. Continue it. As you can see, it is not too difficult for people to understand. Mm -hmm. I have been doing it for many years and Little by little, I came to the conclusion that the less words, the better. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> How to make a solar cooker? We did that a lot. We did 13 hands-on workshops in Brazil. Mm -hmm. My husband didn't speak Portuguese, but he was a good teacher. But I was a translator. Okay. Sure. I lived in Brazil for 37 years. I lived in Africa for... 14 years before that, so I've seen a lot. Sure. Then there's no sun. Then you, oh of yeah. course, you have the rocket stove and the hay basket. That is a hay basket. And I have even a simple way to make a hay basket. Very inexpensive. Yes, yes. It has to be simple and cheap. Yep. Here in America, we are, we are spoiled. spoiled. <laughs> we have everything at yep. hand, and it has all to be easy and immediate. But you know, I have been living in countries where there is nothing. So, yeah, well, but my husband, he did a little more talking. <laughs> 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 more elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, the wapi. And that's it. Yes. You, if you want, you can take that. I would love to. Thank you so much. Because I know that it will be go further for people. Sure, sure. And I, I'm not, I'm not able to do it anymore, mm -hmm. unfortunately. We started in Brazil because they only could get gas. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, and it was too expensive for most of people. Yeah. Uh, Publicity for our workshop, <laughs> a bicycle with, <laughs> with a lot of you know? Yeah, whatever it takes. Yeah. yeah. And then before I started teaching, I put the food to cook. Yes. I was uh, lucky in Brazil to find adhesive aluminum. Mm -hmm. So we bought a roll of that. We had cardboard, cardboard, and you know what? A lot of men came to our workshop. Mm. They came to bring their spouses. And they said, oh, you guys are going to make something? Yes, can we stay? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> and even the kids were sure. helping to make the, the cardboard, the templates. And then they said, oh, we have no black pots and we have no money to buy them. So no problem. That's paint and black on the outside. Yeah. That's what we did. And they made pot holders, pot stands. Uh, yeah, and then cooking the eggs in a black sock. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and the people said, that cannot be. So, oh, <laughs> so yes. You have to show it. <laughs> and then they become believers. When they see that the food was cooked, they said, really? And the rice is so good. And yeah, of course. Just I I enjoyed every moment of it. 
Yes. I love the solar cooking. I think it, it is absolutely fantastic to do it. Here I was making a hay basket with an old t-shirt. You know, sure. <laughs> simplicity. I always said, this is the high tech of simplicity. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that it will become necessary one yes. time. Yeah. But I was watching what is happening in Las Palmas, the volcano. Imagine, well, we don't, we don't imagine that something like that can happen here. can happen anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I lived during the war in Amsterdam within four days. Or right. life was upside yeah. down when the Nazis Terrible. invaded. And then people said, why didn't your army defend? You have no oh, idea <laughs> what the German war apparatus was. Yeah. It was Europe was bulldozed in four days. Yeah. So that is now is my job. I do presentations about what it was. Yes. I lost my father in a concentration camp. We had hidden Jewish people. Um, but I tell people, don't let it happen again. I don't let it happen. It's not an adventure, Nazism. It's not a club. It's a mortal danger. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I've been talking to all the schools around here. I'm showing a wapi. So that's how, how I have been doing it. And then later I came back to Brazil a year and a half later to bring new solar cookers. We had a lot of uh, plastic bags all in our luggage because of sure. course that's a difficult thing. Um, but I came back and I just said, oh, we will wait with our Christmas party until you're here. <laughs> that was absolutely cute. So as you can see, yes, it has been my passion. Yes. It absolutely has been a passion. I still, if I have beans or whatever to cook, I put it here in the sun. Sure. Why not? Yes. It's uh, so you can have all that. Oh, Let me show you. you the panel. Sure. I think I have Oops. even the the DVD. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, that was. Well, uh, see. Jackson Rotary Club Solar oh, Cooker, right yeah, sure. Rocket Stove Guatemala, Great. we had a, a guy visiting. You know, all that can serve mm -hmm. as information. Yep. And if anybody wants to know, I'm always available to explain. Sure. Let me show that uh, panel. Okay. Oh my. You know, they're very creative in those countries. All our workshops here, all this. Sure. If you want to take that, you can have it. Only if you're willing to part with it. Oh, you know, that would be wonderful. I did all I could. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm not in, uh, in, in real estate anymore. Mm. But I'm so, I was so happy to hear how many people you are interviewing. Yes. That means that there's still a lot of there people is. involved with yep. this. Now, this oh, yeah. that has been very helpful. Yeah. Very nice. And you know what? You can have it too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Sure. Because I want it to go further. Yeah. It should not stop with me. Exactly. And you know, when I came back from Brazil, I went to the farmer's market and I had some samples and I had this that panel and people came and then one lady from the from the food bank came and she asked did you really cook this with that piece of cardboard I said yes I did she said you know I have a vision could you train my staff I said yes she said because I find packages of rice in the garbage and I asked them why so they have no means to cook so I trained the staff of the food bank sure and I did it a lot so and then I started training the trainers and the rotary uh, said no okay go ahead it's a good project so that's how I kept busy sure doing <laughs> it and now I said okay whomever needs uh, Advice 
I'm available. Yes. I'm so pleased that there are still people. Oh, here. yes, there are a lot. Yep. I'll let you show a picture that is pretty. I was at the international convention when we had it here in Sacramento in 2015. Uh -huh. And I still have a picture with my dear friend from Kenya, uh. Faustino Daba. She is still yes. she's always there. Yep. She is very active. And uh, Bernhard, 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 what's uh, his Mueller? Yeah, yes. Gerard Muller, he was yep. there also. And yes. the most interesting was this one. Okay. Look what it says. Three continents, three countries, three us. Three continents, yep. three countries, three ethnic groups. Yes. Now, I'm so pleased. I, I, so many people that you interviewed. Yes. So that means that it's going yeah. on. Oh, no, yeah. it, I'm so pleased. Uh, I was afraid that maybe people are just tired of it. They don't need it here. Yeah, no, that the, is the problem. Yeah, the interest, it, it waxes and wanes, but yes. overall, it gets higher and higher, but, I think. you know, with the electricity situation, yeah. with the economic situation, yes. you know, I don't... I don't see how we're going to get out of it. I have seen during the war how, bang, all of a sudden your whole ha life. Yep. And by the way, during the war, my mother had a hay box, mm -hmm. and we had what we called, it was not a rocket stove, it was a wonder stove. It was a little can with a chimney, and with some twigs or with cardboard or sure. chopped up furniture, we could boil a pot, and then once the pot was boiled, my mother put it in the hay box, a blanket on top, yeah. and that's how cooking. it cooked and kept the food warm until dinner time. Yes. So when I saw this uh, integrated solar cooking, that I, oh, I know those things. I know the, yes, yes. I know the rocket <laughs> stove, I know the hay box. But that's, uh, no, I, I became an enthusiast. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I, at one time I saw in the newspaper, there was a couple in uh, Clovis distancing, Pimentel, and they had the integrated solar. And I told my husband, I would love to get in touch with those people that I don't know how to find uh -huh. them. He said, oh, I he found them. Okay. We got in touch, and then they invited us at their rotary club. And I said, okay, we will come to your house. We will teach you everything we know. Very nice. They came, and so that's how we started. Because my husband said, we should do something meaningful with our lives. What about teaching uh, English in Kosovo? I said, you know, English is not my first language. <laughs> I have an accent <laughs> that would not work. No, the, you would teach them. They'd have your same accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one, okay. <laughs> one time they interviewed me at the local radio, and they said, "Say California," <laughs> and I said, "That you you talk like a governor, like for <laughs> 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 so, well, I cannot lose my accent. But in Brazil, I was fluent, of course, in, in Brazil. When the guys from Guatemala came. With French and and Portuguese, Spanish is no right. no no problem for me either. Sure. I can handle five languages. Yes. I started with Dutch, but nobody speaks Dutch because that's like a throat disease. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Brazil was, and people people were saying, nah. And I heard the women talk. They didn't know I spoke por spoke Portuguese uh, in the yeah. beginning. She's not going to to cook with that piece of cardboard. I said, look, there's not even fire there. I said, no, I said, no, no problem. The fire goes That's right. There. It's a pretty big fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's free. It's free? Free. You don't need to pay. Far, even yeah. as far away as it is, yeah. we get into 80, 90 degrees. And it's amazing what you can do with yes. that. Yes, yeah. It's, uh, no, I, I, I was extremely enthusiastic about it. Sometimes people say, can you not talk about something else? No, so <laughs> <laughs> I had it at the rotary, I had it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just I just love it. I'm I'm sorry that 
it's becoming too heavy for me. I give all the material I have to the a youth um, a youth convention and uh, now a youth uh, organization in Valley Springs. Okay. And I said, okay, I can be your uh, I can come show talk, but I cannot do the things sure. anymore. Sure. I said, no, no, we will take care of sure. everything. And I already did some demonstrations there, yeah. and the kids are enthusiastic about it. Nice. So, oh, we can cook this. We can. We can make that. So yeah, we can. All so right. Oh, my goodness. So yeah, but, but our big our uh, flagship uh, project was in Brazil. Yes. When the solar cooking came, they said we go to Brazil with yes. that. Yes. Well, and they've kept it up at the Council Foods Conference. There were must have been a dozen from Brazil. Yeah, I uh, know. Of course, a bunch from Portugal because yeah. they hosted it. But yeah, so they they it's expanded. Yeah, I, I'm always in touch with them, with the Brazilians. Sure. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's the one guy in Elmo. Elmo, uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, I met yeah. him at the conference. Yeah, he yeah. is a professor at the university yes. in Curitiba. Let me get um, Fumi Sakurai. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yes, yeah. thank you. Uh, because I made the template. I was so uh, enthusiastic about this. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> Let me see how she put that together again. I think it was like this. Yeah, something like this. And well, people use uh, clothespins to make things simple. Yeah, oh, in yeah. solar cooking. I like to use those thick uh, binder clips for. Paper. Yeah. Yeah, I have been strong. using them later, but they become so hot. Yeah, they got hot and they also rust. Yeah, yeah, they rust. See, this is. Oh this yeah. And I, I lost it. It's like a origami. Yes. You can have that. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's just too much. You will have to great. find out how to put it oh, together. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be a lot like Sharon Clausen's uh, Copenhagen or Roger Haynes. Yes, so yeah, kind yeah. Of forms a bowl, you know. Yeah, I have even a, a smaller one. Oh yes, from the, the temple. Yep. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. I sell a cook for myself, mm -hmm. and. Uh, at one time for my Rotary Club, I made a gourmet dinner oh, yes. for 60 people. Nice. There were, oh my God. Well, and I, I, I put all my solar cookers on tables here, sure. and I invited the people to show them the variety we have. Yes. So I have been doing a lot of things on Zoom. Yes, yes, that's nice. Like my, my presentations, since 2018, when I started, I calculated I did 83 presentations. Wow. And, uh, Before the COVID, I have person sure. to person. I went to all the schools. Yep. And then they already knew me because of the solar cooking. Yes. And I said, you know where it came from? And then I showed my, <laughs> my slideshow. Uh, yeah. yeah, I made always hot dogs for the, sure. for the people during the, the classes because I had no, no time to make elaborate. Sure. But I made for the Friends Club of Sacramento, yep. for uh, 40 people, I made a gourmet dinner. Amazing. All yes. French stuff, Coco Vin and all that. Oh my goodness. I said, oh, you did that? In the yeah. <laughs> yes, everything in the solar cooker. Uh, you, have you seen, you've seen the movie Babette's Feast? Yes. And it's in Coco <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the princess. Oh, I had this in a pair in Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and at one time I made African food also, mm -hmm. because I learned how to do that in Africa. And I also know how to make Brazilian food, sure. so I could make their own what I most like. Yep. You know, talking about uh, Coco Bonds and uh, yeah. fancy dinners, uh, Sarah Yalmerson is a Swedish chef, actually of Brazilian origin, but oh, she's a good. chef in Sweden, and she cooked something uh, up to the 57th. Parallel. Oh, uh, with a parabolic, with a with the oh, the parabolic, yeah. yeah. And uh, I met her at the conference, and I said, oh, "I've been meaning to ask you, could we come up with a list of all these fancy things you can cook that that you see on the cooking shows, <laughs> and show? Yes, you can cook them solar as well. Yeah, yeah. So we came up with a dozen, you know, 
Yeah. No, the tofu version there is fantastic. Yeah. I made also frittata, the yeah. American, the Italian frittata, sure. lasagna. I made yes. lots of brownies. Oh yeah, yeah. for us it's banana bread. Banana Whoa, bread standby. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever no, I have no I, I just I love to experiment things. Uh, uh, Something special. Sure. Fun thing is when people bring their stuff and they see that can be yeah. cooked also. They are so happy about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can make uh, all kinds of desserts. Uh, I, I, I keep inventing. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I can't think of any other questions to ask. No. You've covered so much and, and your work has been fantastic. And uh, it will be preserved with the museum. And that used, is what I love. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. My husband helped me so much. He was yeah. the one who started it all. Sure, he sure. said, "You can do that, but we have to document everything." Yes. He was the one who made always made the pictures. Yes. He said, "Document everything you do." Yeah. Continuity. Exactly. Because we cannot let it just. We already gathered so much knowledge about so lots of things. Yep. It has to go on. Absolutely. No, it is, uh, yeah. and, and like uh, uh, the water, because we have so much contaminated water yeah. in Brazil and in Africa also. Yes. And it, it is so easy in the solar poker to, uh, with the wapi, you can yep. see that the exactly. water is safe. One of the food banks in, in San Andreas, mm -hmm. one of the girls has always a solar cooker with her when she goes outside and she puts some soup. Nice. And she says, look, with the produce you get, you can make your soup yep. in a solar cooker. Yep. I told uh, to the Rotary Club, we have the homeless problem. Yes. I said, look, they make a little fire and look what happened. This a solar cooker is absolutely yeah. safe. Yep. And one of the guys was uh, from the fire department. He said, okay, we can show that to the homeless. Yes, we can. Oh, you mentioning that about the fire departments, I had never even thought of that. But that's something I'm going to bring back the Inside Minneapolis them. fire. Because that's fantastic. they see yes. the, the fire people, they are impressed with it. They said, good, good. Hey, this is, this is a good way for the homeless. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. this is where? Is in, in Los in, Angeles? In Jackson. In Jackson, okay. In Jackson. okay. You have yeah. homeless everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. It yeah. should not happen in America. No. America no is a country <laughs> that has enough for everybody. Uh, yeah. You know, in Africa, okay, uh, difficult to go far away right. in the country, and in Brazil, the same thing. Because one of the women said, oh, she said, I didn't cook anything this week, because when the, um, the truck came with the gas, yep. I had no money to buy. Uh, so, okay, now you don't need to have that anymore here with yep. your solar cooker, you can... You can cook yeah. every day. Yeah. And that for them, it was life saving. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it yeah. is, uh, I like it. I think it's a challenge sure. to find solutions. Yep. Yeah, in San Andreas, uh, when I did my demonstration, one of the guys of the fire department there came and had a look. He said, Oh, that is wow, genial. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, sure. that can help so much people. Yeah. Well, I tell you, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, I thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> they know that there still are more oh, there, people there, with solar. There are thousands, and uh, and we need way more. But like I say, the interest kind of goes up and down, but it always goes a little yeah. further up the time before. And uh, I'm just a firm believer in I do what I can. Yeah, I exactly. Mean, yeah. It was <laughs> such a nice surprise for me to know that there were still people enthusiastic about solar cooking. Yeah, and there, it's growing, and um, even I hope that a lot of young people would take over. Not so easy. No, but it's you know you just keep getting the word out. The nice thing right now is uh, climate change. Yeah, that's the big yeah. thing. That the younger they are, the more they, they realize. It might you know what? become yeah absolutely necessary. Yeah, and if the part of that climate changes, because we have fewer trees, we have deforestation yeah. and more carbon because we're burning. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, oh. By the way, we can fix it today. <laughs> we have we have the solution. Yes, yes. <laughs>